The Kardashians, well, they're famous for fill in the blank. You have to admit, though, that Kim Kardashian is fairly famous for that behind. So is that behind fueling the BBL craze? Let's check in now with Dr. Epstein. When you look at those numbers, though, I, I looked in 2014, there were about 10,000 of the Brazilian butt lifts. Do you think it has anything to do with the Kardashian effect? Well, I think it does in part. I mean, if you look at in the Urban Dictionary for Kardashian effect, it really means someone who has become absent of any real talent or skill. <laughs> but okay. it does get you media and public attention. And when you have that, you have people's ear. Women are understanding that there's a new part of their anatomy that's been neglected, that now can be aesthetically improved, and now awareness is arising. So with double digit rise in procedure, it's more than just one thing that is, is bringing this to women's attention. Is that what you think, Dr. Lee? Is, is that what women are telling you? That not necessarily do they want to look like J-Lo or Beyonce, they just want to look like a better themselves. Yes, I, Don, ironically, I hear more patients say, I don't want to look like Kim Kardashian. I think Mark's right, I think it's all about awareness. And this is not just something we see with the butt lifts, but it's something that we see with other operations in plastic surgery. As you increase the public awareness, you realize the problems are a lot bigger or there's more people out there who want to be treated to have these things corrected. You know, in my practice, most patients, they want curves. They just may not want them to the extent of the Kardashians or uh, Jennifer Lopez, and some may, and that's why the consultation is so important because you're finding out exactly what that patient wants. Treatments are individualized no matter what type of operation we're performing in plastic surgery. A lot of my patients come in and they don't know that they want to enhance their butt. But when I look at them three-dimensionally from all views, I show them how the flanks blend into the butt and the abdomen and how we treat it as one giant aesthetic unit. So it's the surgeon also promoting the indication for the procedure that is driving it, at least in, in my practice. And I would agree with that. We, over the last decade, we've seen a huge advancement in body contouring surgery. And like what Mark's saying, we want to educate patients because a lot of times patients don't know exactly what they want. And as you can explain what the possibilities are with plastic surgery, then they're like, oh yeah, I like that, I want that. And then you hear what I mentioned earlier, which is, I want that, just maybe not too much right now, like what I see on the magazine covers. Yeah. And that's fine. That's where we're doing the treatment that they want to get the result that they want. Check out the Plastic Surgery Channel for the latest on BBLs.